Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing, helping us feed a hungry hippo, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we are doing a Thread Up unboxing, which I love doing. I believe this is the last box from the big order I made last October. If you're new or you hadn't heard, last October they had a coupon code pumpkin and I bought it was either for free shipping or 20% off. I can't remember what the sale was, but I bought like three or four boxes of the 50 pounds. And we just set them in the garage and set them aside to work on later. We do over buy inventory at the end of every summer going into the fall. So that in the winter, we can just work from that and not have to go outside. We live in Pittsburgh. Sometimes it gets really cold here. Sometimes it can snow or the roads are icy and we just don't want to go out. So we stock up and buy tons of wholesale and extra at the thrift stores and just, you know, we have like a whole side of the garage and we can just shop from there all winter going into spring. So this is the last of it, I believe. Um, I did order two more 50 pound boxes yesterday. So once those are here, we'll be unboxing these on the channel. And I'll go back to my old way of unboxing thread ups where we look at each pair and count whether it's a bolo brand, a poop brand, a bread and butter brand, count how many I got, figure out how much I paid for the box, and figure out price per piece. I haven't been doing it with the all the uh, jeans I bought in October because of the way they were shipped here. They were in bags and boxes. They were kind of all separated and mixed up. Okay, before we get into these also, I'm going to let you know that I'm going to put a link down in the description box on where to get these. I get a lot of messages all the time and comments and questions and emails about where I get these because no one can find them on ThreadUp. This is the DIY box. So I'll link that for you. But let's get in and see what I got. We'll just talk about each pair and the brand and how I feel about it. If I know a price off the top of my head on what I start that brand at, I'll let you know. And if I find any new to me brands at the end, we'll screen share and comp it together. Democracy. I believe I start these around 40. I'm going to check my list real quick. I do have a pricing sheet of my prices for items that I follow religiously. And Keith has it as well for when he's helping me list. It does come with my jeans guide, which has been updated for 2024. So if you're interested in that. There's a link for that down there too. 30. And so that's the all in price. So, and I cannot teach this to you guys enough, but free shipping isn't free. Keith and I did free shipping for seven years. Last August, we decided to change our business model and do a flat rate charge shipping to our buyers, but it's the same exact thing. There's no difference. Free shipping is not free. And the total price a buyer is willing to pay for an item is the total price no matter how you break it down. The choice to do the free shipping or charge shipping is a personal choice and depending on what you feel about buyer psychology and free shipping. And when you get returns on eBay, you don't have to refund the initial shipping if you charge shipping, but if you do free shipping, you do. So there's a whole thing, whole lot of things that go into it. It could be its whole own video, but I want to make it clear to you that $30 jeans are $30 jeans, period. Whether they're 30 free ship, 2010 ship, 22 eight ship, however you break it down. I do like this brand. They have stretchy waistbands. They're slimming. And they are called Ab Technology. These are some of my favorite. I did used to get $40 for this, believe it or not. Stop racing to the bottom. You're ruining it for everybody. Price items is what they're valued at. And if you need a quick sale, if you need to be the first one, if you need that fast nickel, run a sale. Don't be pricing $30 jeans at 15 because you need quick money. Price them at 30 and run a 50% off sale. Plus, there's that whole thing with perceived value. If jeans that are worth 30 are priced at 15, people may pass your stuff by thinking there's something wrong with it. If they see that it's still priced at 30, but you're running some big deep clearance, they might buy it anyway. And you can correlate your sales with holidays. So Run a 50% off sale once or twice a month with all the holidays that happen. But stop racing to the bottom. These are short. They're Old Navy. They're maternity. I like Old Navy. I like short. 
not that big on maternity clothes, but they'll sell for about 20. So just moving forward, the prices I give you are going to be the all in price. So if I say I'm going to sell the shorts for 20, that's the price. $20. However you break down the shipping. Okay. That way we can just kind of plow through these quickly and we're not here all day. Abercrombie and Fitch. Distressed, ripped, cut off, shorts. Listen, cut off, denim shorts, booty shorts, and any brand are good. You can grab the poopiest brand and sell them for 18 bucks. And these could be brands that you couldn't give away the counterparts and the full length jeans. These are rewashed. These are okay. I'll probably list them for like 20. I feel like I moved those. Sonoma shorts. If you've been watching the jeans unboxings on the channel as I go through this thread up order from October, there's been a lot of short, which I'm happy with. I mean, I bought all of this in October. I set it aside. I'm working on it now in February. We're getting closer to spring. I'll take the shorts. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. Look at the lace on the legs. These are Massimo. This is a solid bread and butter brand. It's a Target brand, but it has loyal customers. Those are the cutest shorts ever with that lace. Time and True Walmart brand. I don't care. <laughs> I paid for all of these jeans. I'm going to sell all of these jeans. Unless there's something so wrong with them or they're damaged that I can't sell them. They're all getting sold. Pinch every penny out of your wholesale lots that you can. Plus, I source this brand on purpose if it's plus size jeans. The Time and True women's plus size jeans, you can sell for 20 and 25 bucks all day long. So if you can find them for 99 cents or a dollar, go for it. Oh, this is a poop brand. I haven't seen this in a hot minute. This is X2. I do not like their jeans. Their jeans are poop. But this is a denim skirt. And denim skirts, just like jean shorts and denim jacket, are kind of like they're a world unto their own. So I would never source this brand. And if I got this brand in jeans in a thread up box, I'd probably list them for like 18 bucks. I'm probably gonna list the skirt for 20 to 25 without even comping, because I don't care what other people are doing. I'm not trying to race to the bottom, I'm trying to pay my bills. Air Apostle. These are cute. Look how small they are. Short little booty shorts. We've got poop. <laughs> uh, SO. Um, I forget even what SO stands for. Isn't it um, JC Penny brand? I'm trying to read the button, but you know, my eyes. I'll just show you what it looks like. If you know what the SO stands for offhand, let me know in the comments. These are jeggings, junior size 11. I'll still list them for like 18 to 20. Arizona Jean Company. This is another kind of poopy brand, and I believe that was JCPenney too, right? But these are shorts, so they'll go for like 16, maybe 18. Maybe put them at 18 and see what happens. You can always take offers. You can always run sales. More Abercrombie shorts. These are super cute. They got flower embroideries on them. And the back is ripped and distressed. So pull this on over here. We got more shorts. These are more Abercrombie and Fitch. One person must have donated their entire dresser drawer of Abercrombie and Fitch jean shorts, huh? These are Old Navy. That's my favorite. One of my favorite bread and butter brands. These are the High Rise OG Street Secret Smooth Pop. And they're size four. $20 all day long. Another pair of Old Navy Power Slim Street Mid Rise. Size four. $20 all day long. Crown and Ivy size two. I want to say that this is poop, but I don't think I've seen these in like seven or eight years. 
I will look them up. Ooh, look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Look at the feet. The feet. Look at the legs. They have little high, flappy, cute things. <laughs> Those up together just to be sure. This is Old Navy Rockstar built in warm. Size four. And they have raw hems. That's what that's called. If your hems don't have the normal edge like that, if they look cut off, they're raw hems. More old navy size four, extra high rise, sky high wide leg, secret smooth pockets. Don't you love when they give you your entire title right here? <laughs> the entire title for eBay is right there on the pants. Love it. I got more of these time and true. Walmart brand denim shorts. These are size 10. They're cutoffs. We've got BDG. This is a poop brand. But this is a skirt, so that does make a difference. Like if these were BDG jeans, BDG, you could probably get 18. I'm probably going to lift the skirt for 18. Why not? The denim skirt. Old Navy boyfriend jeans, size two. Okay, two things that these have going for them, other than the fact that they're solid bread and butter Old Navy brand, size two. The really small sizes sell just as well as the plus sizes. And their boyfriend, which is a good style. Boyfriend jeans tend to, for us at least, sell a little more quickly than other styles. They seem to be a popular style. Also, the flare, like um, flare, wide leg, hippie, boho jeans seem to be popular. This is time and true size 10 full length. So they're not plus size. They have raw hems. So, I mean, I might list them at 20 just to see what happens. And then I have Old Navy. This was the box of Old Navy. I rise curvy OG straight. So I got one thing on the floor here. Let's grab it. <laughs> this is cute. Cloth and stone. I'm going to look this up. It is a, it's either a women's denim tank top or a wee tiny little girl's dress, but it's size medium. So I'm assuming it's a woman's top. So let's look that up together and we'll look up this pair of jeans. It would seem that that box, this particular batch out of the box is from October, I should say, um, didn't have any really great brands in it, but I had like 200 pounds of jeans and I found a lot of really great ones so far. So I'm happy. I don't have to go to the thrift store. I don't have to pay for gas and the wear and tear on my car. I don't have to spend an hour going through the racks, digging through and picking out my 99 cent bread and butter stuff. And I don't have to go out in the cold and deal with ice and snow. It's all right here delivered to me. Crown and Ivy women's denim tank. I mean, I'm going to get real specific at first and see if I can. This is the jeans. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, guys. It's I'm recording this on a Friday. Fridays are rough. I'm tired by Friday. Um, these look like $30 jeans. You know what? So I'll take them. I look at these poopy people racing to the bottom. Don't race to the bottom. Just don't that. I'm going to list my high probably at 30. See what happens. All right. Let's look up this shirt. This is cloth and stone women's denim tank top. We got one that, well, you can't tell what it's sold for. Best offer. Best offer. One that sold brand new with tags, it looks like, for 30 plus six shipping. This one's 20, all in, 15. 
listed. We have some up for 20, 30 bucks. All right, so I'll take it. So, you know, do a little bit more research when it's time to list. But these look like $30 items a piece. So the two that I saved to look up at the end end up being the best two out of this batch. I'm happy with it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in the video, jeans, reselling in general, let me know down below. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.